Sin half HP, they need to be careful if they're gonna dive how they tank it. Lee Sin is very close. Bengi is a master of counter ganks and it could be the right time. Let's see how fast it is. It's gonna be Pamela that tanks this one up, but there's a flash from him, but he does get first blood and he's managed to get away. Oh, Bengi no. gets one kill, but he's gonna TP out. He's gonna be quick. He's got, he's got away. He's got away from it. 15 oh. HP left. Four go going. He doesn't get any closer than that. Wow. And that's Blow up the Zenith here. Gets there. Both of them would have gotten away. The teleport oh. timing. We don't have time for replay. Mondo going down in position or away from position, maybe from Shi Young's point of view. Bengi's coming around the back. They're going to try and oh. dive in. The kick comes in. It's knocked him into the wall. Shi Young is still in trouble. Here comes Faker. And Faker gets the kill with his ignite. Turning the strategy back around on OMG. Pablo was not in range. Does make Faker burn the shockwave though. Burns the shockwave, Faker thought he might be able to. While the culling was going, is just brilliant down there. It's Faker doing everything he can, and amazingly, Piglet and Mondu are actually losing their 2v2 lane. Oh, oh. Pomelo, you are in trouble, my friend. You're dead. Faker is on a killing spree now. 3 0 0. He's just hit 100 CS, which is by far the most in the game. And now go going, might be falling as well. Impact's gonna go all the way on this one. Couple more days, oh, oh. Impact has to flash away as well. That was close. He's got a two level advantage on Chi Young. And those bubbles are just seemingly seeking missiles right there. But he gets stunned up, Alan in trouble. Oh, there's a tidal wave coming out. Mondu's gonna fall low, but they do get the kill. San not gonna stick around there. Is he gonna try and jump Piglet? That wouldn't be the best idea. Flashes away. He's moving around to this bottom side as well. We could see a 3v3 fight breaking Ooh. out. There's a solar flare. They're gonna go They're for Alan. They hooked him up there. Can they finish him off? Bengi's gonna come late to the party. Mondu actually going down. Ooh. Alan Heal. is ticking. He's used the heal in this one, and he's got enough to Survive it. To be able to beat Shi Young in that 1v1 and getting repetitive ganks by Bengi. It's almost like season 3 all over again for them, but SKT pulled it out at the right moment. Oh, they're gonna go in towards Baker, but it's gonna be a big shockwave comes down. Ulti comes in as well. Bengi's gonna go low. Safeguarding away. They oh. kick Pavello back, but oh. here comes Shi Young. Baker's going for the kill. He has to back up though. I'll Tundle. come around. Tidal wave comes in as well. Now impact's coming down. And are they gonna be able to pick up a kill? Baker doing good damage. Shi Young goes very, very low. Can they finish him? His impact is in there right on top of them. Faker falls oh. in. Does he get the kill? Yes, he's doing the end. Now Shi Young is focused. Thank you for He's Alan on the top side. It was a double kill for Mandu. They're going to let Alan walk away. A two for two in the end. These fights are so close to him. Just doesn't get hit by skill shots, it feels like. Watch this. Faker burst it out and go going way faster than he expected because there was no magic resist. But then just, just track how many things miss Faker because of a sidestep. Chi Young. Throws that one thing, misses him with the satchel charge, misses him with the minefield, misses him with another bomb, dodges the tidal wave. He is just getting away from everything, and it is the only reason SKT came out close to even in this one, because OMG were at the point earlier. Look how late Leona comes in at this point. The fight could have easily been over. Finally, the last one hits Faker, and we get the kills traded on both sides. Ridiculous mechanics. Right now, which is... Gonna be a fun time for them, that's for sure, as we are gonna see Piglet here having to flash away. Once again, Pomelo gonna make his presence felt. Bengi moving in as well. Here comes the teleport of impact into that bottom lane from the top. The kick pushes Pomelo again. Oh, the pillar. The pillar will stop him getting away. And now they've got it underneath the tower. Alan down to half HP. Can they keep going? Sun's got no chance. And Alan's a dead man as well. Bengi picks up that one. But Shaker oh. here to the side. Finished off in the end by Shivana. But Mandu's on deep once again. Too far, maybe. He falls down. But now they're chasing on to go going. Shi Young can do good damage on the side. That's a oh. double kill. Impact survived that one just about. Shi Young will walk away. Four for three. Joe. Insane. This is absolutely crazy. 12 kills to 11, 17 minutes in the end of the game. If yeah. they can finish this one off, that will give a good lead over to SKT. However, they need to be careful here. Piglet Whoa. getting destroyed by Sun. Tidal wave gonna come through. There's a shutdown. Sun might die from this one. Again, the solar flare from Mondu locks him up. Alan now is gonna be chased around the side. Evelyn's coming in here. We've got Bengi. We've got We've Faker. Been deserted. Moving in as well. They're going for Alan. You're not surviving this one, I'm afraid. Still very close. 
and the siege defense is going to be very key for OMG when the game gets to that point. But for now, they're too busy fighting. Oh, impact knocked back by the satchel charge. The minefield will slow him somewhat. Can they finish him off? Yes, they will. Piglet's off as well. Then the rest, funnily enough, if they'd have gone a bit north, they would have maybe found Piglet. Oh, that's but a big Alan. He gets caught up in this one. Locked up by Mondu. Put some good damage back onto Piglet, but he's not going to escape from it. Piglet gets that kill. Now Pomelo caught inside of the SKT jungle as well. There's the kickback towards Faker, who throws in the ball and picks up the kill. On anyone else for that one. Oh, Solar Flare With goes no in Faker again. In behind the inhibitor turret. He focused Alan for a while. They're going to put some damage back. Piglet goes low as well. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Impact split pushing away. They do pick off Lee Sin in the end. OMG starting to move out, but they've lost that inner turret in the top. Yeah, but they still have their inhibitor oh. shell up. That's the important thing for them right now. We also know that late game Trundle is going to be an absolute force. That's actually what SKT needs to build up towards, is a Randwin Zoman on impact. Oh, oh, wow. One before Faker. You are not going to survive that one. Almost took down Pomelo on the way out, but definitely bit off a little bit more than he could chew there. Every single <laughs> mine, make sure those minions do in fact get through onto the base. Uh-oh, this is bad for Sun. Bengi's going to come in around the back. There's the kick. Piglet comes in. He puts down the damage. Once again, have a look down some of the items. Bengi, oh, no, though. because Bengi getting caught out. He's going to save time. Tidal Wave comes across, though. Bengi is maybe going to fall from this one. Don't go in at the front. Sun going to be focused, though. They've got rid of the AD carry, and they're now going to keep going with Piglet getting the slow on towards Pamela. He pops his W to try and run away. Rest of the team is coming around the side. 40 seconds of Phil Baron. There is Go going, getting slowed down. Pamela's going to try and get away through the brush, but Piglet is going to kill him off here. This one is done and Dustin, no way that Pomelo will get away from that. Faker killed off Gogo in as well. That's four men down with 20 seconds behind the AD carry or anyone really for that matter. He's 1v1 potential. Oh, Massive impact coming here on towards Sun. He's got slows for days and Sun is already down to half HP. He's flashed away, which actually might and just save his life. I don't know if he can actually outrun impact unless he pulls off some spectacular juke. Impact is much faster and Sun clearly can't duel him. That pillow's <laughs> gonna slow him down. That was pretty nice pillow work there, and Impact just waiting. It's a one of those oh, over the wall. slow and painful death, but there's more of an immediate death going on in the mid lane there. Faker getting a lot of damage, but he gets out of the shot lane. That's going to get him a double kill. Xion has to back away. Piglet's going to chase him. He's flashed in there. Has he got the damage? By God, has he got the damage? He's unstoppable now at 8-2-8. Eight eight. This may very well be the game for SK Telecom T1K. Joe, once they got that first Baron, they just did not relent their pressure against OMG right here. They are totally in control. 31 minutes in, pushing the Nexus. And I think our pre-game question of how SKT and Bengi in particular turn the corner it's hard to argue with with this one. They clean up the game with an ace, with an excess. SKT goes 3-0 here All-Star. And the crowd was absolutely so loud after that one. They're happy to see SKT back at the top of their game.